Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, May 23rd. It's a Wednesday. It's just shy of 6 a.m. I am here in South Chicago. You can probably see the Willis Tower behind me. And yeah, <clears throat> folks, I'm just stopping in for a real quick, uh, real quick update. I'm not really in the place where uh, <clears throat> it's very good to be making, you know, some of these videos and all that other stuff between security and whatever. This is a very complicated, complicated job, complicated area. The job itself is not too bad, but the area is going to make it complicated. Uh, <clears throat> I think I already told you it's just shy of 6 a.m. We uh, we practice a standard 510s Monday through Friday, 10 hours a day, 7 a.m. to 5:30. Obviously for the half hour lunch. Um, I came down here a little bit early. Number one, first and foremost, to beat traffic. <laughs> Unbelievable. Jeez. Number two, um, I've got some. Uh, I got some paperwork I need to finish up. But while we're here, I'm going to give you a very brief look see of what we got here. Uh, I call this. This is called the Y. This is like one big triangle right here. <clears throat> There's tracks all around us. That obviously, that's going north into the city, into the station, along with these tracks here. That's also a service area, <clears throat> uh, maintenance facility, whatnot. Obviously, that main line heads south out of the city, including these tracks here coming from the west. Obviously, they can head south or north. My explanation isn't very good, but this is a, uh, my God almighty, there's tracks all over the place. It's not too bad, it's just complicated as far as trains running through and just, uh, you gotta keep your head on a swivel out here, I can tell you that right now. Uh, we don't have anything major going on right now. This project is really not ready, it is not ready to, to start. <clears throat> but because of some difficulties that we have downstate Michigan, uh, with some things not being ready, or shall I say some other people not being ready, which I'm not going to get into. Uh, we kind of had one of those weeks where we had to, uh, you know, you got to work for a living. We had to make something work. Therefore, we grabbed some of our equipment, some material, we shot up here. And uh, a couple weeks ago, we had this Connex delivered. It's really nice. Uh, this half of the Connex, a little better than that half of the Connex, is for storage. It's just, it looks like an empty Connex trailer. And then there's a small office, office space right here. We dropped out a few weeks ago for this job. And uh, the problem was, is we needed some AC, uh, AC power. So therefore, we left downstate Michigan uh, Monday afternoon with our Maniacs and uh, the appropriate cable, which was uh, three conductor six to, uh, we ran about a 220 foot trench to uh, AC power service over there to power this up. Um, <clears throat> it's barely worth, it was barely worth coming here to do that, but you know, it needed to be done. It's another step out of the way, so we did it. Got to keep the people working, you know? So, uh, yeah, complicated area. Um, I will say I, 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 do, I do enjoy the city of Chicago. It is pretty nice. Now I'm in South Chicago. Folks, it's a little bit of a different story down here. You uh, you do want to keep uh, you want to keep your eyes in the back of your head around here. It's not as bad as it was one day, but uh, it's it can be a little tricky around here. All right, enough about railroading. There's not much I can show you here anyway. Um, I am looking very forward to coming here on a full-time basis during the week. There are two lift bridges that are unbelievable. Um, unless the sun's messing with you, you can see that one right there beyond the building. And uh, you can see that giant lift bridge there in the background. Um, I really look forward to showing you some videos um, when they're operating, which isn't very often, but uh, I'm sure I can get a, uh, 
a time to when they do and make a little video of it. it it's unbelievable, unbelievable what they used to build. The big lift bridge, <clears throat> that is 103 years old. And the one behind me, that one behind me right there, that's a lift bridge that actually just comes straight up instead of the whole thing. That was actually um, <clears throat> torn down elsewhere, where I don't know, and reassembled there. It's, it's unbelievable. So, enough of that. Little update here. I'm only here for a few hours. And uh, I'm shooting north, going home, which is about, uh, it ought to be about a good five hour drive, which isn't too bad. <clears throat> I am immediately going back to spreading manure. So within a five hour time period, I'm gonna be down here in the city. And uh, five hours later, I'm gonna be loading cow shit. Excuse the S word, folks. Cow manure and uh, spreading on that new corn ground. Now in the meantime, because I left Sunday mid-morning, Dad has, uh, he has been hauling some more manure and he's starting plowing today on the east end of that field. So a lot has been done in the last couple few days here, but uh, we look to uh, <clears throat> spread the rest of it with manure, clean out the beef yard, and have it completely plowed by, oh, it'd be nice to have it plowed by, by Friday, we have got some very good rains coming, which we need desperately, but a lot of these rains are gonna stop us from working up that field, or at least plowing it. Plowing it, not too bad, because there's always that sod there to get grip on. <clears throat> you know, we don't have the, you know, the big, the big tractors that can take that, so <clears throat> it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Um, other than that, it's all about working on the, uh, working on the new corn ground, hauling manure, plowing. Um, <clears throat> I don't believe we'll get any further than that because of all the rains that we're getting. Um, we'll see what happens. I might be able to start some disking on um, Sunday morning. We'll see what happens. Other than that, it's Memorial Day weekend that's coming up here. Uh, I've got some good plans. I hope you guys do too. And um, we'll go from there. Folks, just check it in. Hope everybody's having a good morning. And uh, we will talk to you sooner than later. Oh, and that little mystery teaser that I left. Um, in a perfect world, which is my new famous saying, I will probably be giving you a very nice video and an explanation on what I was talking about. Probably Saturday evening, if all goes well. If not Saturday evening, it'll be Sunday at some point. So, all right, folks, have a great day. Good rest of the weekend, week, excuse me, and uh, we'll talk to you sooner and later.